Well, I sort of feel that if you're not writing about women or gender or race, you're not writing. I sort of feel like those are the stories that people want to talk about. Those are the stories that um, are finally bubbling up to the surface. There's a lot of new talent that are finally being allowed to tell those stories. And there's a real cultural shift, I think, particularly in Hollywood, when there's a, where I'm based. There's just a hunger for uh, an illumination of the other. And the other has been trying to burst out since I started writing for television, which was 1998. And it was always the thing that was tamped down. And I think it's finally exploded out. And it feels like a freedom to me. Mm. So we're telling a Cinderella story on Pose, right? The first season, Blanca's journey from being, you know, um, the kind of, you know, the stumped on, you know, underdog who is diagnosed with HIV and therefore launches her to want to build a legacy in a home that lasts far beyond her, right? So it's the universal story that we're all very used to, but then you're also telling it in a different way by centering as Ryan said, which is the DNA of so many of his shows, you're centering those who are often always watching from the margins. And so instead of, you know, kind of having the center here and they're here, we move the camera this way and this becomes the center and the world and the universe. And so for me, I'm always interested in stories that kind of link us in those ways.